Hello everyone, David Moffat from Axe Annex Tabletop Gaming here, and today I'm going to paint up some cheap dinosaurs. Rawr. Here we have a cheap dinosaur toy that I have primed. I took it from my daughter's collection. This is the original. I'm going to paint it to look as close to the original as I can, but have more visual interest. Because they're cheap dollar store toys, they have terrible mold lines like this. And since you're painting up a cheap toy, you could spend a lot of time fixing it, or you could just say, hey, this is just a cheap toy. It's just going to look good. I've primed it black, and I'm going to paint it with contrast. Now, obviously, contrast is going to have a hard time working on a straight black surface. So instead, what I'm going to do is dry brush some wraith bone on there. So I've put a little wraith bone on my wet palette. I'm going to take one of these nice honkin' makeup brushes, and I've slightly dampened it. So that the paint doesn't immediately dry in the bristles. And give me a powdery finish, so I want to keep it kind of smooth. Which means that the uh, dry brushing might be a little heavier than you might think, but that's going to be okay in this case. So let's take a little, put it on my piece of cardboard smoosh it around and just tickle them. All right, that should be good. So there we go, a little drama priming. Most guy is mostly red, with a bit of an underbelly of cream. The cream is going to be a hard one to do in contrast. I don't really have a appropriate color there, so I'll probably have to come back and dry brush later. Hit these areas a lot more, but we'll start with the top. And we might have to do some two brush wet blending. Let's see. I think I'll use some Griffhound Orange because I want something that's brighter and pops. So we'll hop, help, drop a healthy dose of this on the ta palette. We'll drop a healthy dose of that on the palette. And we'll put some Agros Dunes. So I got two big honking brushes here. It's got a lot of surface area to work with. These are Natural Hair. I think these are their Black Martin. They're for uh, watercolors, but they also work really nice with contrast. They hold a lot, so you can have a nice reserve. So let's grab our little dino here for reference. Let's go to town. So everything on top is going to be orange. Yeah, looking pretty nice. Now we're just gonna have to let them dry. So while that's happening, I'm gonna clean up my brushes and I'll start working with the smaller details. So 
So I'm going to take some master's brush soap and swirl it in. Because these brushes hold a lot of that contrast in them, which is great for working with, but then they get super dirty afterwards. So I suppose if you could say there's a downside to these big old honking brushes, it's that they need to be cleaned thoroughly after using contrast. Because they retain so much of it. As you can see, it went by super fast, so. Painting large surfaces like that is quite beautiful. While we're waiting for the contrast to die, dry, we will do a little cleanup. I'll use the wraith bone again. Getting there. Getting drier. There's a few spots in here. Now I'll just smooth it along. Feather it out. Grab a little of this, where it's pooling, spread it around. Perfect. What shall we do next? A volopus pink? Yes. That's about it for the Volpus Pink. I'll take some Skeleton Horde next. We'll let it recess up into his gums there. That'll be perfectly fine, I think. Might pick a little excess out, actually. After, actually. All right, now those beautiful blue eyes, or her beautiful blue eyes. I'll have to ask my daughter. If I ask my daughter, it's gonna be her. So there we go, her, her beautiful blue eyes. Looks dry enough to dry brush now, so that's perfect. Let's see here, let's close up the palette. Probably come back and do another round of blue afterwards, but for now, we're going to pull out some of our handy dandy dry brush paints that most people do not love. Hmm. Would that be a good highlight color? I think so. Let's try it. Let's see. I'll start with the Terminus Stone.
Okie doke. Next up, we'll throw some red on. See how that looks. So I feel like the terminus stone is a little too heavy on the underbelly. So I'll go back and I'll thin out some Agoros dunes. And we'll see how that looks. So I'm going to thin it with some pretend contrast medium. It's not real contrast medium, but it acts like it. I think that's the effect I'm going for. It'd be better if I wasn't as heavy handed with the wash oh, in the dry brush, but that's okay. And lastly, We'll add one more layer to his little blue eyes. Now that's one dramatic dinosaur. And this dramatic dinosaur needs some basing now. I think we'll go for the basing of the Shadow Deep. This one. Which means I will need my swampy texture paint. That should be all right. Hmm. Got a little bit of a, a blue spot up here. So I'm just gonna drop some of the Agaros dunes, dunes thinned mix into the socket. See if we can't cover up any boo-boos. Not too shabby so far. All right, so I need to let the basing dry. So in the meantime, I'll take some of the take some of the Abaddon Black, which is very glossy. I don't really use it for painting so much, but it's perfect for ring bases. If you ever buy a painting kit, you end up with it. So chances are you might have it if you buy a Citadel paint kit. I'll take my favorite rimming brush with the chiseled tip. Is that what it is? Be chiseled? Beveled? This guy anyway. I love it. Nice and flat. Let's run it around. Okay, so the base is pretty much dry now. So I'm going to take a couple of tufts and stick them on. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Got some new 
super glue brush and nozzle. Been pretty nice. Nice way to control the super glue you put on, that's for sure. Let's see, where should this pretty flower be? I'm gonna say here. There we go. I'll have to save that stuff for later. It's always good to add stuff to your basin mix. A couple of the smaller grass tufts. Whoop. How about here? I like to keep them somewhat out of the way because the next step involves smothering the base in wood glue. For the shadow deep basing mix. And I'm not doing myself any favors if I'm putting these little bushes like in the center of his leg, that's for sure. We'll put one more back here. And that should be quite nice. Just a little tiny one, sure. Give those a little bit of time to cure and we'll come back to it and finish it off. And for the last step, we're gonna pop her or him off. Clean up all this blue tack. Grab my wood glue. Grab one of my junky brushes. And begin applying the glue all over, all over the base. I like to pull some towards the edges. Make sure the edges are nicely glued for the next step. So now we're gonna do the fun part. I'll take some of my shadow deep basing mix. I'm gonna sprinkle it on. Got all sorts of textures in here. We got sands and flocks and mosses, little stones, kitty litter, all sorts of things. Tamp it down just a little. It's a lot easier if you can dip the model in the stuff, but I don't really have the greatest in containers to put it in. And we're gonna tap it out. Refluff up the static grasses. Those little grass tufts. Tap it off a little more. If anything looks a little odd sticking up, just tamp it down. If anything looks like it should be standing up, 
Let's take some tweezers and stand it up. I'll probably put a little more moss in there after it dries. Usually when you drop it on like this, it gets a little, a little heavy on the sand, which is okay. But for now, I'm just going to clean up this. That's why I have this piece of paper here. All right. I'm not convinced that's going to stick there. So let's bring it out. Let's look for a little more greenery. That looks nice. That one looks nice. And there we go, original dinosaur, new dinosaur. Not bad. Let's go ahead and take some pictures in my light booth. I'll add some uh, fantasy miniatures in there for scale. Maybe I'll put some Stormcast in. That could be fun. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello everyone, David Moffat from Axe Annex Tabletop Gaming today. Hello everyone, David Moffat from Axe Annex. Mm -hmm.